What is up? Thank you for clicking on this video. We're going to get into my prospect list, which you can see here, the most recent update. Just updated this thing a few weeks ago before the draft. So we are now doing this update for the draftees and to adjust to the guys that the Twins traded. Um, they traded away four prospects who are in my top 30, so that adjusts some things as well. I will have some other topics uh, to touch on, but primarily we're talking about the draftees. So it's just, just going to get right into where I put them. Let's just get right into it. So Brooks Lee, as you can see, the only guy I put him behind was Royce Lewis. I'm personally not docking Royce much for being injured again. Um, you know, maybe that's ridiculous. I think some publications are, and I think that's all right. It's just kind of my stance here. Uh, but if you were to tell me that Brooks Lee is definitely going to stick at shortstop, I think I would put him number one overall in the system. So not to say that I don't think he's going to make it as a shortstop, but I think I have enough uh, questions on how that's going to go that it's not a slam dunk, put it that way. Um, and then Connor Prelip, the second round pick, I have seventh as the second uh, pitching prospect in the system behind Simeon Woods Richardson right now. Fun fact about those two is that Woods Richardson is only 105 days older, I think it was, than Connor Prelip. So crazy that they're that close in age and their pro careers are, are so different. Um, Prelip, much, much like Lee, if you could tell me that Prelip is for sure going to be as healthy as Woods Richardson, let's say. You know, every, every pitcher will get injured here and there. But if, if he's going to be mostly healthy, um, you know, I, maybe I'd put him as high as third. Um, his, his upside is tremendous. That's why I loved this draft pick for the Twins. And scrolling on down a little bit, you get to Tanner Schobel, who I have 19th, so inside of the top 20. Um, didn't love this pick as much, but, you know, the state of the system, and we'll touch on that more in a second, um, he, he gets into my top 20. I don't think this is a very particularly good or deep Twins system right now. Um, kind of beside the point with Schobel, but... Um, I could see him maybe being a fast mover as well, kind of a, a guy who could put up some big numbers in, in, down in the lower levels of the minor leagues. And then Andrew Morris was their their fourth drafty pitcher out of Texas Tech, uh, who cracked my top twenty five. Um, and he's you know a big big guy who's got a good uh, good body of a starting pitcher, throws pretty hard. I'm interested to see what he does uh, here. So that's where I felt comfortable with those draftees. You see, I've got some uh, things highlighted here on a couple of guys that have been in the system. We'll get to that them in just a moment. Uh, but do want to mention where I had the guys who were traded. Uh, Cade Povich was ninth, Spear, Steer 11th, Encarnacion's Tran 13th, and Hadger was 21st. Um, you know, thought the Twins had a great deadline, uh, but, you know, it hurts to miss all these guys. Was really enjoying, uh, you know, all of them to a certain degree, having somewhat of a breakout season. Uh, obviously, Povich and Hadger had just been drafted, um, well, and Encarnacion's Strand really. Uh, so they're all pretty new in the system. Uh, and then these are the guys who I've had ranked at one point this year. So at one point, all four of those guys have been in my top 30. So if you're kind of wondering, okay, who are the next guys after those guys? Um, those would be the names. And then kind of the, the guys who've enter, re-entered the list or have entered for the first time. Junior Severino gets back in. Travis Adams gets back in. Noah Cardenas gets back in. And then Anthony Prado. Anthony Prado, a, a channel favorite, from especially from earlier in this season. Uh, he cracks in. He's been playing really well in double A. Uh, but a lot of guys under consideration for basically 20, you know, there's probably about 15 guys you could make a case for who are like the 26th, 25th best prospect in this uh, system. And I mentioned that I don't think this is a particularly good or deep Minnesota twin system right now, but a big reason for that, we'll take a look at this poll that I shared, is that there have been some amazing graduations from this, uh, <laughs> from this minor league system the last couple of years, especially but look at these options for Twins Minor League Rookie of the Year. This is ridiculous, these guys. I put this poll out, and Jose Miranda kind of ran away with the poll. Uh, but, you know, pretty much everybody said, like, can we can we choose all of the above? Because uh, Yohan Duran has obviously been, obviously been amazing, and Joe Ryan, who, you know, he debuted last season, but he is still rookie eligible this year. So all three of those guys entered this season on with prospect eligibility on preseason prospect lists. Um, and they are up with the Twins. So it's not like um, somehow the Twins are, have gotten worse at development, I don't think. They've just graduated a lot of guys. And then a lot of the guys, uh, you know, having those trades takes some guys out. So um, it's sort of a combination of those two things. Uh, but just kind of scrolling through this one more time so you can see the list. Again, we went pretty deep. Uh, before the draft on the guys who are already in the system. So I'm not going to talk a lot about the rest of them, but I do want to mention these two guys that I've highlighted here. Jordan Balazovic, 
the one guy who is in the system before uh, the draft and before the trade deadline who I moved was Jordan Balazovic. I moved him down another handful of spots. I'm just starting to lose a little bit more faith uh, more and more as we go. And then the the guy in bold here, Miss Isla Urbina, I, I might do this every time I do a list now, is pick the guy who I feel the least confident in or the most who could make me look like an idiot. <laughs> and Miss Isla Urbina, I think you can make a legit argument for him as like a you know top, top 10 for sure, maybe even a top five type prospect right now. Um, got a late start on this season because I think he had visa issues. Um, not a great season last year, but he's still 20 years old. Um, you know, and in the Florida, Florida State League, it's very hard to put up big offensive numbers. He's doing it right now. And, you know, if he has a really strong last couple months of the season here, like he's had, uh, again, getting his uh, feet under him in Fort Myers, he's going to be more up here. So that's kind of my guy to keep an eye out. And I know a lot of lists have him very high, and he's been very high because he's got his twins invested a lot of money in on the international market. Uh, so certainly not like a underrated pop-up prospect or anything. Uh, but he's the guy when I when I look at my list and I feel like, ooh, who's going to make me look dumb? Uh, he's the guy that really stands out. Um, so again, that is the list. Uh, let me know what you think. Well, let me know where you would have these draftees. And if any questions you have, I'll do my best to answer those. Thank you for watching.